Arlington, Texas, November 30th, Byron Marshall. Photo by Wesley Hitt, Getty Images, for the better part of the last three years, the Washington Redskins have been searching for an answer at the running back position. In Alfred Morris's final year with the team, he was on the decline and not the answer at running back. However, the top options since Morris departed, Matt Jones and Rob Kelly, were equally ineffective, and they were unable to establish themselves as starters. That said, the Redskins did get a nice back-by-committee approach working at times last season. With Kelly and Somahe Perrine in the lead role and Chris Thompson working as the explosive third down and passing back the team was able to generate some quality performances. Still, they were clearly lacking in talent at running back, and they were also hampered by injuries through the season. By adding Darius Geis in the draft, the Redskins have virtually ensured that their early downs work will be solidified, in the mold of Juice and Pierrine. And with Thompson returning from an injury to take on the passing back role, that should effectively complete the rotation. Even with those three set to take on a bulk of the workload, the Redskins will still have room for a fourth running back. In the past couple of seasons, they have often carried four runners to provide depth and also special teams value. This year, the battle for the fourth spot will be fierce but one player has gone under the radar. That would be Byron Marshall. The Redskins picked up Marshall midway through last season as an injury replacement. While he wasn't a major statistical producer, he will still have a great shot to make the team as a depth option, and he certainly could be on the fast track to earning that no. For running back role. Page 2 PHILADELPHIAPA, August 17, Byron Marshall. The Eagles defeated the Bills 20-16. Photo by Mitchell F. Getty Images, Marshall was a big-time producer during his collegiate career with the Oregon Ducks. He came to the school as an all-purpose player, and he eventually developed into a running back-receiver hybrid. In his sophomore season, he ran for over 1,000 yards. During his junior campaign, he recorded over 1,000 receiving yards. He truly had a well-rounded skill set in college, but he still went undrafted in the 2016 NFL Draft. After the draft, Marshall signed with the Philadelphia Eagles. For the next season and a half, Marshall spent time on the Eagles practice squad, and also was on the active roster at the end of the 2016 season. He only recorded 74 scrimmage yards on 22 touches, and it appeared that the leg injury he suffered during his senior season has stripped a bit of his athletic ability. Still, Marshall possessed upside, and that's why the Eagles held on to him on their practice squad. Midway through November of 2017, the Redskins inked him to a contract after a boatload of injuries struck their running back core. and Marshall came in and had an impact right away. More from Rigo's rag Marshall emerged as a jack-of-all-trades for the Redskins. He didn't see a lot of touches, serving mostly as the backup to Pierrine, but he did what he could to help the squad. He got nine carries and turned them into 32 yards. He also caught six passes for 36 yards. And most importantly, he helped in the return game, and averaged 22.3 yards per return on his four returns. Considering that Marshall had been a mid-season acquisition who was thrown into the fire, he fared pretty well for the team. Unfortunately, his season prematurely came to an end after he suffered a non-contract hamstring injury returning a kick against the Los Angeles Chargers. He landed on injured reserve, and that was tough news for the versatile back. 
Still, it appears that Marshall may have won over the coaching staff and may stand a chance at making the 53-man roster. And much of that can be credited to two things. Page 3 ARLINGTON, TX, November 30th, head coach Jay Gruden of the Washington Redskins stands on the sidelines during the game against the Dallas Cowboys at at Photo by Wesley Hitt, Getty Images What Marshall can provide for the Redskins as the number 4 back is versatility. Unless injuries become a major issue again, it's unlikely that he'll be asked to play a major role on offense. As a depth player, he could carve out a role in many areas. The first is obviously that he could help on kick and punt returns. He may not necessarily be the returner on every play, but he has thick build on his 5'9", 201-pound frame. That could allow him to succeed as a blocker and may even as a tackler. So, that could do a lot to get him on the team. Additionally, Marshall is versatile enough to be a running back or even a slot receiver. Marshall has very good receiving skills, as evidenced from his college tape, and he could be a unique player at that position. He would be an undersized, fast and physical player who could fight for balls and make big plays. He probably won't see a lot of time there, or at running back for that matter, but as a gadget player who could enter the game in certain packages, that could be valuable. It's also worth noting that Gruden has recently praised Marshall, and said the following of him in a press conference. Byron Marshall, I mean, he had a couple great routes today. He's running the ball between the tackles. Burgundy Blog recently spoke about Marshall on Twitter as well, and said, I believe Gruden likes him more than most realize, and he'll be a difficult cup, if Marshall can continue to run great routes and impress Gruden in all facets of the game, that may do enough to make him the no. Or back because the team might want a logical backup to Thompson. With Kareen already in place as Juice's backup, that would be a sensible move. Page 4 Los Angeles, California, September 17, Rob Kelly Photo by Harry Howe, Getty Images The Redskins have excellent depth, and that is going to make it very hard for the team to decide on the fourth back to keep. Most notably, Rob Kelly, who has reportedly looked good at OTAs, is on the bubble. The fact that the team really could use a versatile receiving back as a backup might put him on the outside looking in. But, his physicality and experience could make it hard for Gruden to cut him, especially if he's fully healthy. Aside from Kelly, the team also has a couple of other intriguing options. Both would qualify as receiving backs. One in Capri Bibbs, who joined the Redskins roster late last season. He is a shifty, elusive player out of the backfield who excels at making men miss in open space. He had a nice touchdown off a screen pass late in the year, and he definitely has the ability necessary to be the fourth back. The other guy to consider for the Redskins is undrafted free agent Martez Carter dubbed, Mr. Excitement at NCA. He doesn't have great size, but he has explosive ability. At the very least, he seems like a practice squatter. Finally, the wild card is Keith Marshall. The fast former seventh round pick by the Redskins has struggled to stay healthy in his two NFL seasons. If he can stay healthy, he'll have at least a shot to make the final roster. However, he is still a big question mark. Despite the competition, Marshall might have the exact blend of versatility that Gruden is looking for. He 
he should have a good chance to make the roster as a running back receiver hybrid, and it wouldn't be a surprise to see him on the final 53-man unit. Marshall is certainly a player who bodes watching, and it's unlikely that he will continue to fly under the radar.